So this is another one of those questions where I've seen some students do some really interesting things, but these are actually my favorite questions because they are actually so simple. All you do is you plug the information into an appropriate formula and typically you're going to end up having to do a simultaneous equation. So let's get started. They tell us that the third term of a geometric sequence is 2. So that statement alone has so much information. So we pull out our geometric sequence formula and you just fill things in. Well we know what Tn means, it means the value. A is term 1, R is the ratio and N is the position. So they're telling us that the third term is equal to 2. So the value is 2. A we don't know, doesn't matter. R we don't know, doesn't matter. N is your position. Well they've told us that it's the third term so we'll say 3 minus 1. We'll then just simplify, so that will become r to the power of 2. And that's it. There's nothing more you can do. So you go to the next piece of information. The next piece of information tells us that the 8th term, oh, I should have had an 8th over there. Terrible, eh? And the 8th term is 64. <laughs> so the 8th term is 64. Um, so we go fill it in. So the value is 64. So we'll say 64 is equal to a, r, and then n is the position, so that's going to be 8 minus 1. We then go simplify, and so that's just going to give us a r to the power of 7. And there we have it, two equations, two unknowns, simultaneous. So the way a simultaneous works is you just need to get one of the letters by themselves. So for example, I'm going to take this equation over here, and I'm going to get a alone. So that's going to give me 2 over r squared. And there are other ways to do this. Your teacher might use a different technique, but the answers at the end will be the same. So a is the same as that. Then what I'm going to go do is use that expression in the other formula. So wherever I see an a, I'm going to replace it. So I'm going to replace it with 2 over r squared. Easy as that. And then here we have r7. Now this r7 and this r2, or r to the power of 7 and r to the power of 2, if they simplify, they become r to the power of 5, like that. And now it's just a matter of solving. So the first step is I'm going to divide by 2, so we're going to end up with 64 over 2 on the left hand side, and that just gives us 32 equals to r to the power of 5. And so to get r by itself, you take the fifth root on the left hand side, like that, and then you just get r. And if you go solve that, r is equal to 2. Now that r is equal to 2, you can just plug that in over here. And so a is going to be equal to 2 over 2 to the power of 2. And so a is going to be equal to 2 over 4. Therefore, a is a half. So a is a half and r is 2. So now they want us to determine the value of term 10. So we use our geometric formula. And so term 10 is equal to a, which is a half, r is 2, and n is, well, we're looking for term 10, so we'll just say 10 minus 1. And so term 10 is going to be equal to a half times by 2 to the power of 9. And then remember, don't multiply those two together, because that 9 is then getting ignored. So what I advise is just type that all in on the calculator, and term 10 will have a value of 256. Thanks for watching.